name's Scott Nicholson. Um, I'm going to show you um, another tip on how to relieve some pain. Um, a lot of times people come in and they say they've got a pain between their shoulder blades. <clears throat> it's just excruciating and um, it's like they, they have a knot and it's usually right, it's usually right about here um, on either side. And um, a lot of times people will have worked that area to the point that it's, um, it's actually bruised. But the problem is that that's not where the problem is. The problem is actually in a trigger point in the neck. Um, <clears throat> so what we need to do is work on the trigger point in the neck. And the area that we need to work is called the scalene area. And there's three parts to that. There's the anterior, the middle, and the posterior. And they're, they're just, they're, they attach to the top of the ribs, um, rib two and, and three. First, the anterior part's right here in front of the, the clavicle, or just behind the clavicle. <clears throat> so what you would do is you, you take your finger and you press into that spot going toward the rib. And you kind of bring your head forward a little bit so you take off some of the pressure and you can reach a little deeper. And then you just press and hold. And what you're going to do is you're going to explore there, you're going to go to the midline, um, you're going to press there as well. And see, that's actually activating something for me. And then the posterior one is a little harder to get to, but it, you go back and you press down again toward the rib until you feel it. Now, that's one way just to identify where the trigger point is. Now, if you're pressing there, you currently have a pain, you press there, and the pain goes away a little bit, you know you're on the right spot. Um, if it increases the pain a little bit or makes the pain go away, you're definitely on the right spot. And you just need to hold that and press until you feel it relieved. Um, you can also do a gentle stretch at the same time. Like you can press, I'm going to work this middle one here. So I'm going to press and then I'm going to stretch away from the area. Press and stretch. Press and stretch. Now, after you've done that three or four times, usually it starts opening up the muscle. Um, but it can take some time to relieve that. That's one of the reasons why people come to see us, to get relief from those trigger points. Some of them are a little stubborn. They're not real hard to find, but it's not that easy to relieve them all the time. So, just more information for you. Um, we're trying to help everybody with self-care tips. Um, and uh, we'll be back with another one. Scott Nicholson from A Healing Journey. Look forward to talking to you again.